You know, moms demonstrate that kind of faith more than any other group on earth of what it means to give up your own rights for the life of another. Let me close by just sharing with you a story that uh, Solomon Rosenberg, who was in a Nazi uh, concentration camp with his wife and their two sons, what, uh, what he said happened. He had, they were in a labor camp. They had lo- he had already lost his mother and father in the camp because one of the rules of the camp was if you got to the place where you couldn't do your daily work, you were taken off and you were exterminated. And so he watched again as his father and mother were both marched off to their deaths. And he constantly worried about his youngest son, David. Because he knew that David would would be, if any of them, would be the one that would come to the point where he would be broken enough where he couldn't do the work that he had to do. So every night he would come to the barracks and he would search for all four, four faces, not his, but the other three faces that were part of his family, his wife and his two sons. But one night he came back and he found his older son over in the corner, his son Josh over in the corner weeping. His wife wasn't there and his son David wasn't there. And he said to his son, Josh, tell me it's not true. And his son said, it is true, Papa. Today David was not strong enough to do his work, so they came for him. He said, well, where's your mother? When they came for David, he was afraid and cried. Mama said, there's nothing to fear, David. She took his hand and she went with him. You know, that's a a true story. But that same story is being lived out in maybe some minor ways. In every community, in almost every household, where a mom says, I'm giving up my own life today. And I'm going to invest it. Invest the gifts. Invest the energies, invest in sacrifice for all those around me. That's why we celebrate. You know, mom's job is twofold. Mom's job is to lead that child to faith in Jesus Christ, which Timothy's mom had done. Prepare that child to hear another voice, the voice of God. And mom's job number two is to get that child on a path every day to living out God's purpose in their life.